Hello, friends. Oh no. Sorry if you hear any thumping. My brother is stomping around upstairs. Anyway, let's get into the actual topic of the video. So, I've been playing Animal Crossing New Horizons since since I bought it, so like every day for 10 days straight, multiple hours a day. I bought the physical copy. Let's get into 10 features I wish were in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've got my notebook here with all 10 of the features that I wish were in New Horizons. You probably wish they were in New Horizons as well. I haven't watched any videos about features that people wish were in New Horizons. This is going to get so repetitive, I'm sorry. Um, I haven't watched any videos about the topic, so if some of them are repeats, which they're bound to be, but if they are repeats, I, I, I'm not copying anyone, it's just... That's how you know, they really are features that people actually want. Get on it, Nintendo. <laughs> Alright, so feature number one, build mode outside. I have such a hard time placing things exactly where I want them, so I have to pick it up, move where my character is, put it down, pick it up, move where my character is, put it back down, and it just, it's so tedious, and... I don't know. I guess that's how Animal Crossing is. It is a tedious game to play, but most of the the tediousness is actually fun in my opinion. Like I like collecting things from the trees every single day, and I like going to all five, six, all of the rocks every single day and hitting them. And I like I just I like tedious things, except I don't like how hard it is to correctly place things outside. I wish there was build mode outside. Feature number two, bulk crafting. So you can only craft one thing at a time, even if it's the same thing and you're crafting it over and over and over. For example, um, the item, the hot item in Nook's Cranny today on my island is wooden block toy. And I made like 20 of them to sell which I don't recommend. They don't sell for very high. Anyway, <laughs> I made like 20 of them and I had to keep, I had to keep making them over and over and over and go through all of the menus again. And it just feels ridiculous when I have all the materials I should be able to make 20 of them. I don't mind. We have to go back through all the menus to craft other items. That's okay. Although it would be nice if you could select all of the items that you want to craft at once and permitting you have all of the materials necessary they would all just craft at the same time number three yeah you can see all three of my fingers now i wish that you could buy storage i know that when you get um, an upgrade for your house you can get more storage but i wish that when you purchase containers or whatever that you could store things in them and they would increase your house storage uh, for example I find cardboard boxes all the time and I would love if cardboard boxes had like I don't know storage space of 10 so if you placed it in your house then your house storage would be increased by 10 but if you took it out of your house or had it in storage itself then it wouldn't increase your storage I think that would be a really great idea because I keep on filling up my storage all like in one day it's all the way full oh no I can't do anything about it and I would love to have more storage space because I don't like putting everything on the ground I don't think it looks very nice it works for some people it just irks me <laughs> okay Number four, I wish you could skip dialogue. I don't want to hear the villagers say the exact same things every single time. Or, um, Timmy and Tommy, Nook, I don't want to hear them say the same thing every single time. I just want to get into the shop, go up to one of them, and 
now I have to listen to them give me three different lines of dialogue, like three different bubbles of dialogue. I would like to just go into the shop, sell my stuff, and leave. Number five, a tool wear meter. So I want there to be information in your tools that say how many more uses you have until they break. I go through multiple tools every single day because I play so much and um, I know that oh man my brain is not working today thinking is slow I know that customizing your tools resets the meter but I'm not gonna count until 100 or 40 or whatever however many uses it is until I need to make a new tool or customize it because that's ridiculous. I would much rather there just be a built-in use meter to show how close I am to my tool breaking. It doesn't even have to be exact. It doesn't have to be five more uses until your tool breaks. It could just be there's a bar and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller until, okay, at this point, I think I might as well make a new tool or customize this one. Number six. Um, again, I like meters. I like knowing my progress on things a lot. I want there to be a friendship level meter like there is in Pocket Camp. Um, because in Pocket Camp you can see how many levels of friendship you can get to. There's, I don't remember, like 50, 100, something like that. And it tells you how many more points you need of friendship until you get to the next level. I would love that. In New Horizons. I would absolutely love that in New Horizons, please. I want to know how many more, how many more times I need to talk to Marina until I can give her gifts because I love her. She's my favorite villager and I want her to be my very best friend. And that's just, that's just me. Marina is adorable. She's so cute. I know I am not simping her. Don't even mention simping villagers. I will. <laughs> I was gonna do a threat, but I don't really want to. I was gonna say I will come and find you, but honestly, just don't simp villagers in my general vicinity, and we're we're fine. We're fine if if you just keep that away from me. I was thinking that that sort of thing could be in your Nook phone. It could could be an app in your Nook phone. And that would be so great because you could just go in, perhaps in the, the map app. Oh, <laughs> sounds kind of silly. But perhaps in the map app, you could click on your villagers' houses and see information. There would be a little text box of information and say what level you're at, how many more points you need to get to said level, perhaps what type of villager they are, like sporty or whatever, and maybe a couple of their favorite things so that you know what to gift them to get to the, the next friendship level. Seven. Is this a weird way to do a seven? Do people normally do sevens like this? Yes. Yes, they do. Seven. I want to be able to craft with random materials. I love the DIY cards. I do. I truly do. But I want to craft randomly so that I can find new DIY cards. Because there's so many recipes online that you can see for the DIYs. And I would love to just be able to combine all said things and then, oh look, I made... I don't know. I can't think of anything right now, apparently, but I made a thing. Now I have the DIY card for said thing. Hooray! I don't imagine that that will ever be a feature in any Animal Crossing game, but it just kind of reminds me of Minecraft and how you're able to just randomly craft things, and I like it. I like that idea. It doesn't, it's not plausible, and I don't know exactly what would happen if you combined materials that don't actually make anything, but it's wishful thinking. I'd like that feature, 
it's never going to happen. I can still daydream. <laughs> Number eight. You have to look at my hands for a second there. Eight. <laughs> I feel so ridiculous right now. Uh, again, I apologize. If you can hear the thumping, I sure can. And it's distracting me, so I'm a little more scatterbrained in this video than I normally am. But it's loud. There was no thumping there. And maybe you won't even be able to hear the thumping, and in that case, I will be very pleased. But then, maybe you won't believe me that there was thumping upstairs. Okay. <laughs> Number eight. Pocket furniture preview. So that sounds kind of ridiculous. You don't know what I mean. I'm sure you don't. But I wish that in your, your pocket, your inventory on your person had a preview of the furniture. Like, like the furniture is previewed in your house inventory. I think that would just be a fun feature. Um, I also had the idea that you could see the furniture in your inventory as a preview, not a leaf, but only if you've already had that furniture before. Because then when you get things that you haven't had before, it will show up as a leaf and you'll go, oh cool, this is something new, I have to go have a look at it. I don't know. Again, that's just a cool thing. Never gonna happen, but I like the idea of it. There, no, there we go. Number nine, I want there to be better camera angles. The camera angles bother me so much. I want them to be better. I can't turn my camera around when I'm outside and that bothers me so much because what if I'm behind um, a landmass and I wanna look behind it? What if, what if I can't see weeds behind trees and I need to pick them? This just bothers me so much. I also wish that you could zoom out and see your whole island. I'm sure other people have talked about that before, but like so many people have such beautiful islands and you can never see the whole thing at once. And that's kind of a huge shame in my opinion. You should be able to zoom out and look at it. Not necessarily like walk around when that's happening, but just take a picture when you're zoomed out all the way. I keep doing this zoomed out. Woo. Okay. Finally, number 10. This is another one of my personal nitpicky features that I want, but perhaps nobody else has thought of or want it, wanted it. I want there to be an app in your Nook phone that has a list of the values of every single thing. I want to know how much, um, Timmy and Tommy will spend on my 30 fireflies that I collect throughout the night. I, I want to know, but I have to look that up on my actual phone, and that, that bothers me. I think it's silly. I think that there should be a system in-game that tells you how much things are worth, rather than going into the shop and checking how much they're worth. But that's just my own thing. I don't know if everybody else would want that, if anybody else would want that, because it's not actually that hard to just look it up on the internet. I don't know though. Is that something you guys would want? Let me know in the comments, please. And by the way, this friend here that I have with me is Taco. Um, all of my alpaca plushies are named after Mexican foods. I thought that would be fun. So I have Taco. I have a mini one named Nacho. I don't know where Nacho is right now. I do know where Nacho is right now. There's Nacho. He's so small. There's Taco. I have two others, but I'm sure you guys will meet them eventually. Um, I got these, these two at my first, not my first convention, my second convention ever. Uh, my first convention where I wasn't with an adult though, in grade 10, so my first year of high school. And I am rambling about nothing. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I appreciate it as always. 